Hi, I'm Josh Picat, owner of Battleline Industries. Today we're here with Sniper Side, and we're going to be talking about one of our new products, the Sapper. It's spelled S-A-P-R, Stock Attachment Precision Rifle. All right, let's take a look at the Sapper. So what it is, is an attachment that goes onto the crane stop mod stock, and it gives the operator full adjustability for precision rifle. Uh, just taking a look at the original attachment here, we have full adjustability up and down, and we have a great butt pad piece here that rotates and moves up and down so it can fit the operator's shoulder or his arm or whatever he's wearing. So let's take a look at the weapon systems and let's see this thing installed. All right, we're going to take a look at our weapons platforms. First one we're going to look at here is a POF P308. Uh, we have a sapper installed on a crane stop mod. We got a little bit of cheek rise here. The nice thing about the sapper is it gives that operator the best cheek weld possible so he can maintain his marksmanship fundamentals. Uh, with the POF 308, we got a little extra height here on the rail, just the way the weapon's designed. Got about another half inch above the charging handle. Uh, this is really good because you don't have to do any chin weld to get to your optics. You actually get a good full cheek weld. And uh, one of the features here at the sapper. Uh, if the user was using a flip-up iron sight type setup, which I think all operators should use just to have a legacy system or a backup system, you know, we're running quick release mounts on our optics, so if something goes down with this optic, battery dies, whatever, it breaks, we pull this thing off, flip up our iron sights, and we can utilize our iron sights. The cool thing about the sapper is this thing's set for the optic. Well, to get on our iron sights, we need to get back down to the original stock height. Just pick this back piece up, the cheek piece, it rotates out of the way. Operator can get back down on the stock, the original uh, surface area, and access his iron sights. And we'll show you that later on here as we start shooting. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the sapper and the concept of design. We have it installed currently on a Knight's SR25 EMC. So it's a 16 inch 308 gun, uh, DMR kind of setup. We're running an L can, one and a half to six power with the Dr. Optic on top. Sapper's installed on a B5 crane stop mod. Uh, what we did is we took this cheek rest, brought it all the way down flush with the stock. So we got about a little, uh, about a half inch uh, extra rise here, just enough to give us uh, the correct cheek weld for this L can. Taking a look at the back here, uh, we got the butt pad canted here a little bit for the pocket, the shoulder pocket, and it's actually brought down a little bit so it fits me better. And what we want to show you guys, we're fully collapsed, okay? Sapper's adding about two inches, one and a half to two inches of length of pull, and we got a little bit more weight here to the back of the stock, which is nice because it's balancing the rifle out. Okay, so taking a look from the side, we get down on the gun. Now I don't have to do a chin weld anymore. To access my L can, I can actually get a full solid cheek weld, keeping my marksmanship fundamentals in place. So down on the gun, we're going to run the gun. We've got the stock fully collapsed, uh, simulating maybe wearing body armor or whatever. I'm going to run the charging handle. Okay, we have some interference initially with the uh, cheek piece. One of the design features is to be able to pick up the sapper cheek piece, roll it out of the way sideways, run the gun for immediate action drill. Flip the cheek piece back into place and it falls right back where you guys adjusted it for the correct height on your scope. And all you gotta do, just run the gun, and that's how it works. Now, something to look at here, we're obviously fully collapsed. I pull this weapon out to about approximately two positions. There's no interference anymore with the charging handle. And obviously, if this cheek piece comes up higher, depending on the type of optic you're using, well, that charging handle is gonna roll right underneath it. Um, and we're gonna get into some other weapons platforms here and show you some other features.